We're gonna get that epic fur flavor in record time. So let's start off with a little bit of oil. And the base of the broth is gonna be a number of aromatics. First of all, some onion. Some garlic. Some slices of ginger. And then for that beautiful spice flavor, we've got the sour and some cinnamon sticks. The secret to achieving the flavor we want really quickly is to make sure we don't skimp on the browning. So we really want to get these beautiful aromatics, lovely and golden, and really releasing their flavors. Yum, I can really smell that star anise. So star anise is best friends with anything meaty. Anytime you're doing a braise or a stew, add some star anise and it just kind of boosts that meaty umami flavor. Okay, I'm really starting to see some nice color here and all of those aromatics are smelling beautiful. Okay, time to add in the beef stock. And to really boost that umami flavor, we're going to add some fish sauce and some soy sauce. Now just let that gently simmer and bubble away for 20 minutes. Now it's time to strain that glorious stock. It's a beautiful deep dark colour, just what I'm looking for. So the other all important part of a fur is the beef. And I like to use beef fillet because it's super tender. And what you want to do is slice it really thin. Now the reason we're slicing it super thin is because we're going to place this onto our noodles and then pour the hot stock over the top and that's actually going to cook the beef. So you want to make sure the pieces are wafer thin and to help with that you can actually put the beef into the freezer for about an hour before you slice it. That'll help to firm it up a little bit. The other crucial part of a fur is of course the condiments and I like to get all of mine ready before I serve up my noodle soup. Um, and I like to serve it with a little bit of hoisin sauce some chili paste for an extra spicy kick, some lime wedges, some bean shoots, and Thai basil. So the Thai basil is gonna add a beautiful, fresh herbaceousness to the soup, which I love. But if you can't find Thai basil, regular basil's okay too. 